Pope Francis, reflecting on today's short gospel from St. Mark, says that the Lenten journey we have just begun takes place in the desert of solitude, which he says is also a place of battle. We hear about Jesus' fight in solitude in the desert, not against any human enemy, but against Satan, the enemy of us all. He was tempted, a fact that is part of our human experience. The Church teaches the temptations of our Lord are also the temptations of His servants individually, but the scale of them naturally is different. We are therefore to keep watch and vigilant because the devil is like a lion who never sleeps and is always ready to devour us. Lent is a desert journey. It is 40 days of solitude because we draw aside from the noise and confusion of the world in order to strengthen and deepen our relationship with God. It is a time of combat because we have to know the wild beasts in our lives. We need an accurate and honest understanding of what tends to interfere with our relationship with God. Our sin patterns, attachments, bad habits, and weaknesses. Jesus shows us in the Gospel how to deal with temptations. And we follow His example. God allows temptation and uses it providentially to purify us, to make us holy, to detach us from the things of the earth, so as to lead us where He is and by the road He wants us to take, so as to make us happy in life, which may not be comfortable to make us mature, and above all, make us humble, very humble. As Jesus was victorious over Satan's proposals, with his help and guidance, we shall also conquer our own weaknesses. His victory is our victory. With the power of his spirit and his perseverance, we too can conquer the many wild beasts that threaten us. And we shall never be alone in our struggle against temptations. The Lord is always with us. We can always count on God's grace to overcome any temptation whatsoever. But let us not forget that we need weapons in this spiritual battle. Continuous prayer, sincerity, and frankness with our spiritual director, the Holy Eucharist, most importantly, and the sacrament of penance, a generous spirit of Christian mortification, which will help us flee from the occasion of sin and to avoid idleness, which is the worship of the devil. And finally, humility of heart and a tender and filial devotion to Our Lady. May we take advantage of Christ's help to overcome our attachments that interfere with our relationship with Him. And we will strive to be attuned to the tricks and tactics of the devil in our daily lives. Let us pray in this Lenten season for guidance so that we may come out stronger against temptation and deeper in our faith in the Lord. Holy Mary, refuge of sinners, comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. God bless you.